23. <laughs> oh, he's thinking about it, guys. Which door do you give away? <laughs> Does this guy have stats? <laughs> Use like brand stats or something. <laughs> oh god, that's okay. Uh, he he's he's lying to you. He's feigning ignorance. I guess I just look at him pointedly, and then just say, I probably nod at him in a slow fashion. <laughs> okay. <What? laughs> um, do I? <sighs> I appreciate your candor, and so be it. Um, thank you for uh, like. If if we have any questions, well, like after there's like an awkward pause, he'll just be like, okay. Um, well, we'll we'll go chat to some of your employees and uh uh we'll we'll just try and figure out what how what, you know how to proceed very well yeah you're you're more than welcome cool um so i mean it would seem really obvious if we just went straight to the one that we really want to talk to uh did we want to just wander around like who's ever closest or do we just want to just talk to Karen just all surround her yep um, I don't know like yeah I, uh, I'm just wondering what information we can uh, well if she knows any of the out like the layout of this place like it was an old HQ she might know a bit more lore maybe even why the Zents aren't keen on Getting back the the HQ. It's probably like, just got a bunch of liches on it. <laughs> that probably has something to do with it. It may well be, but and the whole place is full of undead. That's a good enough deterrent, I would have thought. Sure. Is that is that our decision though? Are we we're not even going to, no, yeah, to talk to ask them. Yeah, you can go ask them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is this Tilly being like, I'm really bored of these conversations? Yeah, no, Tilly doesn't give a shit. No, she, she's, she, she thinks it's pretty simple. We just go and kill them all. But there's no good guys where we're going. Nobody is good. Not the pirates, not the Crimson Dawn, not the undead. Just kill them all. Okay, well. Yeah. Lowen looks at everybody else. Like, what's everyone else thinking? Yar. What is everyone else thinking? Apparently, they're thinking nothing. I think Carmen Definitely. agrees with Tilly for once. However, she thinks it's wise to gather as much information. But where are we going first? Tactical information would be useful. Yes. But. Uh, I I was under the impression that this dude said that they don't that the people here won't really know about the specific layouts of it. They just he didn't. I think he also said the people here as well. Well, we there's no harm in asking him. So, mm. uh, we may as well find out information. The way law might be ha useful is like whilst we're inside some. There might be some decisions that need to be made. Some people like because liches aren't dumbasses either. They they can be talked to and reasoned with, even though a lot of them are insane. Um, but... The guy mentioned that it was a uh, a tale. It almost sounds like there would be a book associated with oh. it. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Maybe he would have access. I guess. I mean, Owen would probably ask him. After talking, if if we've just had this conversation, maybe is there any more information where we can, you know, did, like this tale that you said is it is it written down anywhere? Like, how would we learn more about it? Yeah, 
it's a this is a bindery. Let's come across lots of books. Do they know of such places that we could get more information? The, the, you're looking for the tale of Zentil Keep. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess. Um, if there's any tales about it, specifically the one with the, the liches. Yeah. So there is. There is. Uh, I mean, this whole place is full of books. This is like a maze of shelves. Um, uh, but uh, no, I mean, and Krenner's, who you reckon probably knows the place the best. Says they don't really have stuff like that here. It's not really a library. What sort of stuff do they keep there? Uh, like copies of the books that they're they're producing and ones that they they have produced in the past. Um, so it was just an erroneous book that he'd read about this particular. Well, time. I, uh, uh, he, no, he, yeah, he's just he just happened upon it from from all his years traveling. Barding, I guess. Yeah. Do they have any copies of the Dawn series? <laughs> That's right. They they do. It's like they get so many orders for it. It's, it's they they keep keep yeah keep getting more orders. Of the Dawn. Dawn series. Can I flip like through one while everybody's talking? Because I think Carmen's it's, a, it's, a dusk. it's a dusk. It's a dusk series. Oh, dusk. Sorry. Dusk. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, you can flip through a copy of like the two hundred and eighty seventh volume of Dusk. It's like, oh yeah, excellent. <laughs> oh, I haven't read one of these in ages. It's the Dusk series. <laughs> <laughs> you, you won't find it. Um, okay. All right. So, yeah, are you uh, are you gonna are you gonna like encircle Karen? No. 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 Okay. I'm probably eyeing everybody up. Yeah. Uh, it probably doesn't matter, but I'm probably using. I, I don't need the information, but I'm probably using my know um, know your enemy on them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I don't need the information, but just in case I ask for it. All right. Yeah. I... God. All right. So you're you're getting the measure of everyone here. Yeah. See see what sort of these ex-adventurers are made of. Yeah. Uh, and the rest of you? Uh, I, I assume, I assume uh, CL just like brought her horse into the the binary, just clopping all over and, like the, the, the fiery mane and tail setting fire to like all the books. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. I'd, like, okay. I'd like to uh, inspect the uh, machinery if they let me approach hmm. just like whoa i wonder how this works never seen anything like whatever it is they no machine i don't know are they yeah i guess they're probably like are they are they machines big machines or are they like tabletop sort of they're they're printing presses but they're they're manual ones so you kind of you, you arrange all the letters, like take the little blocks, right, and arrange all of the letters, and then you kind of stamp it down. Oh yeah, no, I think I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She's just um, like, watching, and she tries to yeah. pick one of the letters so that she can, uh, she can like make her name, and it's like wonky on like a random piece of parchment. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> they're just like, what are you doing? Can you? Uh, <laughs> we need uh, those letters. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'll just roll stealth uh, to do it really quick. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um, so the, the gnome seems to be a uh, half gnome, halfling seems to be working on um, something. Like he's built a bunch of extra stuff up around one of the printing presses and seems to be trying to to like automate it. And he'll he'll tell you about it if you ask him. Like he's quite proud of his automated printing press. But nah, that's uh, really lame. Why would we ask him? When it's when it's turned on, it it doesn't seem to be working. So he's he's having if you if you're watching, yeah, he's not having a great time. It's just belching smoke at the moment whenever he turns it on. He's getting frustrated. Is there anything I can do to help? Um, do you, do you, uh, are, are you an engineer? <laughs> uh I can have a look. I figured because like maybe she's got some level of it because she has thieves tools proficiency, but 
No, she's not an engineer. <laughs> it's true, I mean, you might understand mechanisms of some things. Yeah, do you want to roll Intelligence Thieves Tools check? Uh, so that's that's a normal thieves that's a normal intelligence check, plus your proficiency bonus if you're proficient in thieves tools. Or if you have expertise, double your proficiency bonus. So that's plus four. That's plus four. Okay, so fourteen. Um, I think yeah yeah you have the you have the vague would that like, be idea. fifteen because of your your tool your what's what's this, the rogue get uh, a reliable talent that's on any. It's on any uh, check, right? Any uh, ability check. Let me provision. just double check the exact wording. Okay. Um, uh, that led, lets you add your proficiency bonus. Yeah. Okay, so that would be a, a 10, a right? Plus. So yeah, just a single extra. Woo! Still average. <laughs> well, but... Okay. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so 15. Um... Yeah, so you, you, you totally, you actually understand, like, what he's doing. It's, it's not that complicated, what he's doing. Um, but you can't really see where he's gone wrong. As, like, as far as you're concerned, concerned, this is probably how you would do it, too. So you're oh. not really sure where it's going on. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm. 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 You try doing this. Mm. Yes, I have tried doing that. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't know then. <laughs> Alright, see ya! <laughs> Does she have like smoke on her face now as well? Yeah, she's got like grease it's on her hands. She walks up to the others like, What's up, guys? Hello! So, what's like CL doing then? Just led your horse uh, into uh, this place. <laughs> <laughs> no, so your horse is probably tied up outside. No. I was imagining like a funny MMO where you just, everyone just has like their horse inside the plane. Yeah. And, like... <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's not. It's not a good idea to have the horse inside the binary. Um. So I guess the only info we might want is like what sort of, what sort of towns are along the river uh, yeah to the lake yeah yeah he, so he can tell you about a few towns yeah okay sure. then then i guess we'll just talk like as a group where we should meet up with the crew and then maybe we can head out to scout because yeah or did we want to talk to anyone else i feel like they don't really have any information so maybe if everyone's kind of like splitting off a little bit owen will probably try and talk Lentara, and if anybody else was wanting to, okay. to Karen. Well, I'm not leaving the area. Sure. So I'll probably I mean, away. she's probably not going to notice you <laughs> over all the machinery. Yeah, they can't. <laughs> they can't see you wandering around. <laughs> <laughs> Permanent full cover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I guess, uh, what's Karen doing at the moment? Uh, she's arranging some letters. Perfect. Uh, yeah, Owen will, Owen will sidle up. And just, uh... Be like, oh, hi there, um, do you have a minute? Um, well, we, we can talk and work at the same time. She continues. Clacking Absolutely. letters together. Absolutely. Your, oh, your boss was very yeah. keen that you, even during any discussion that I made made sure you were working hard. Huh. Oh, that's funny. Krenes doesn't do a bloody thing around here. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the typical way for, for managers or people in power? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I just had a few questions. Um... We've we've uh, been hearing uh, multiple reports about uh, the city of uh, well the keep and 
I know that, and he points to the very obvious symbol, that the Zentarum uh, uh, it used to be their old headquarters. We were sort of keen to dig into these rumors a little bit, see if we could um, parlay with the Crimson Dawn. Uh, is there anything that you we should bear in mind if we're going to do that? Um, Um, uh, yeah, I suppose, um, he used to be a Zentarum. The Blackwind. Oh, okay. I don't know if you uh, that. That's really interesting. Um, so well, he's, he's, he's not to be messed with. We are the best. I've heard that. That money can buy. So don't underestimate him. That's, that's all the advice I can give you. Um... But why why did he leave the Zentarum? Was that mutual? Uh, I guess I don't really know. I I didn't know him personally. Of course, of course. Um, but the Crimson Dawn, uh, they seem to be a you know a rival mercenary company to you. Uh, do you? They're nothing. They're they're small fish compared to us. Huh? Small fry. I mean. Uh, Abs- they're small fish. <laughs> Absolutely, I can imagine they are. Um, I've just heard, um, you know, uh, if the Zentarum wanted them to, you know, move along, I'm, I'm sh- I was surprised to know that they weren't. They, they didn't seem to respond to the call out. Um, Do you have any idea? We don't. We don't care at all about them. They're nothing. Of course, of course. Um, Why are the Zentarum l- all like this? <laughs> <laughs> like they're, they're so shit. And they're so <laughs> full of shit as well. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, do you know? I mean, I was keen to sort of get my hands on maybe a map of the keep, or a little bit of knowledge about. Uh, it before we went we went there uh, is there anything do you know or do you have a map that maybe I can take a copy of um no I I don't really carry around maps I, I work here at the bindery sure I've just you know the proximity to the keep so I was just thought maybe you'd, you'd have more knowledge than the average zent <laughs> Uh, uh, I don't know. Really, that's that survived the fall of the keep. There, I'm sure maybe some passing people interested might have taken maps and, but but no, I sure. I don't believe there are, there are many such things around. Is, is there any reason why maybe someone like him would be interested in settling back into the keep? I mean, he seems to be able to stave off the undead infestation I have no idea what his motivations might be but judging by the fact that he left the Zentarium he obviously has a terrible judgement so it's probably, probably something probably stupid true. does she have is there anything that might lead me to believe that she um, knows anything about his motivations It's probably what I'm really trying to key into um Quite possibly not. She seems to like literally not give a shit about this guy. Um. She doesn't. It's true that she doesn't know why why what he's doing in Central Keep. Mm. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um. Is she like frustrated with this conversation? Is she like genuinely like meh? Don't care. Or is it like yeah, she she just she's like answering your questions, but she's not like looking at you. She just keeps doing her work as she does it. So it kind of I'm getting this read that she thinks I'm a waste of time rather than potentially being useful. Yeah, you get that impression her. from a lot of people actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm familiar with this. One. <laughs> 
Oh, brutal. <laughs> <laughs> uh okay owen will just be like oh well, thanks for your time um that that looks great and he just points vaguely at her lettering <laughs> like oh it's really straight <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> <Bye>. yeah <laughs> yes, okay bye and he looks a little bit yeah yeah in <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> <His inner> a <term. laughs> well that was uh, I just kind of shake my head at the rest of the guys, and then I'm like, where to? Let's go explore! Sure, let's do it. We can be like high up on the on the carpet thing and just look down. <laughs> just leave Ciel, and then just sort of fly over, get an idea. Yeah, we could do. <laughs> Yeah. Um. Or so I would. Can be on the ground with CL. Some will be on the carpet and look out. Like range people. Well, N Natari, myself. I don't mind people using carpet, but I don't think we should all use it unless we're traveling, is it? But for scouting, I don't think we should all get on. Okay. It's perhaps fair. So, is it enough to say at this point? We communicate a location to meet the ship, and so we've got sort of five days ish. Do they reply or anything? Oh, okay. I'll write them then. I'll tell uh, yeah. them to meet us in one of the towns that we decide on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they'll they'll say they're they're on their way. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, so we have the five days. What sort of time is it now? Is it like... Is it... What, do we have time to do something, or should we think about settling in for the night? Yeah, you've got time. Um, so it's probably, probably just gone midday. So this... Like, okay. two o'clock, yeah. This area, the... the bindery, uh, you said that there was other buildings, there was obviously some ruins, is it just like this is the one building? Is it like the other ones like residential stuff? They yeah, it looks uh, like it. That's right. And for the it's workers, like, more than anything else. Yeah, that's right. That's where they sleep and stuff. Okay, so presumably they wouldn't have room for extra travelers, six extra ones. Oh no, they do. They do. Yeah, they 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 receive guests fairly often because like there are meetings and stuff between factions held. Here. Sure. They have they have spare places for you, and you know it's like it's 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 always it's like clean bedding and stuff, and they mm -hmm. give you, you know, like Krenas is happy to offer you like a a, a very a, like a, a basic but but a decent meal and stuff in the evenings. Like he tells you like the where to where to meet. They they serve dinner like a, this time every evening in the morning and stuff. Okay. So seems like a good base of operations for the time being. But if we're going to travel to this, so do we want to go and scout out this location then? Uh, I I would like to kind of get a feel of for the area for sure. Um, <sighs> as for like traveling back, if you guys don't want to travel back, I'm fine to go by myself and just. Hop on the that trip. will be fine. We can travel Is back it with safe? you. Oh, as in, is it safe for to go alone? But no, we should travel back together. to the ship. The location that this ship arrives at, where we're to meet it, presumably. But it might not be immediately here. It might be like half a day or day travel. Yeah, to get there. That's right. Yeah. 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 But we still have like four days of exploration before it even gets here. So yeah, that's, let's do yeah. that first before let's the it's that way in the future. Sure. So if we leave now, we can get closer, but we will be traveling half a day. So we'll pretty much be at night when we arrive. Uh, at the the place to meet the ship. No, the keep. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you would arrive at night if you travelled direct there. Yeah. Do we want to just camp it's reasonably far away, like yeah. an hour or so away from the? I suppose we're there in the morning because, like, most undead will be active in, at night, right? Probably. Yeah. So what we, we just really want to run into vampires at night. So. 
fair. So we can just um, maybe spend the, the rest of the evening or day here, rest up, get some food, maybe fraternize with the other employees, just see if they, something interesting arises, and then get, leave in the morning. Yep, yeah. sounds good. I think okay. Tom is going to read more Dusk series. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably gonna be like flipping through it and just go like, oh, it's just shit as I remember it. But then <laughs> keep reading as well, like just keeps reading. Nice. If uh, if May sees her reading it, she'll be like, oh, look at looking at it like words. <laughs> oh, read me some. What? Oh, what? No. Okay. Do Do you like the Dusk series? What is it? You don't know it? Oh my god. And I'll just grab like one of the books out of the shelf that's the series. And just like hand it to me. There you go. You should read it. You really should. Oh, I don't... It's really oh. popular. Uh, it's kind it of tacky, this... but it's like really addictive, so you should, you should what? check it out. What are all these words? There's an. Common. Trashy? <laughs> Comedy? <Well. laughs> just, just read it. You'll, you'll find out. Uh, and she spends like half an hour reading the first page. It's like, <laughs> okay, I think I've got to the end of it. Oh, there's more. Oh. Carmen, can you just help me, please? Do I, I didn't know that. Okay. No, I, I can kind of. It just takes me ages. Why does it? Read. What? I didn't read much when I was living in my village. Okay, there's a lot of. A lot of hunting and hunting. <laughs> Not much in the way of They're education. <laughs> yeah, gathering beetles, well, cutting maybe... teeth off wolves. You know, you probably, uh, getting deers. Owen to read it to you. What? I'm sure Owen would love to read it to you. Is no, this... he wouldn't. Oh yeah, it's book. 121. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Owen should probably, totally read He's it probably to you. busy praying or something. <laughs> look, look, he's not doing anything. Go on. <laughs> right there. Look sheepishly at Owen, like. <laughs> holds up the book, like. <laughs> <laughs> Carmen wanna... just knows that in that volume there's like a really spicy, sexy scene in like <laughs> in the first chapter. <laughs> and so she's like. Oh, we should read it to you. Oh, Jesus. You want to read trashy, trashy comedy novel? <laughs> Please. I'm not, I'm not, I find it really, really difficult to... <laughs> and then uh, pretends to be reading, but she keeps, like, looking over the edge of her it's, own. It, it's, I mean, Carmen <laughs> seems to really like them. Sure, I mean, we could, we could have it just before we go to bed, like, a uh, bedtime story. That sounds good. Really? Wow. That's so nice, thank you. No worries. She gets really like giddy, like <laughs> sits next to you like Is it time to read yet? I, I just thought, you know, it would be a good nightcap, you know, sell us in for the night. <laughs> Is it not night time is it not night time now? Well, Sorry. as in like we're probably eating and having general conversation and stuff and then like the, the like Owen's thought is like, hey, yeah, we can just you know read before you go to bed, and then it'll you know kind of makes you a bit sleepy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it just I mean, this I don't really get the dreamy yeah. thing. <laughs> oh yeah, you don't. <laughs> but sure, sure. If it, if, it, if if it helps you in some way, then that's better, isn't it? So I just want to know what it says, if I'm honest. <laughs> sure. I, yeah, I guess we can we can start now. Uh, and then he'll finish up whatever conversation or whatever he was having. And... Have you read this before? <laughs> no. Uh, should we start with the first book? This seems to be number 121. <laughs> no, no, no. That's a good one. You should totally read that one first. You don't have to read them in order. Really? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, okay, I don't understand. But okay, I don't know what a series is. <laughs> I, I also walk over to Tilly. And, and I guess it's stories. Weird. <laughs> how far does Owen? How far does Owen read till he gets to gets to the point where it's like, oh, <laughs> it's like <laughs> <laughs> men writing women. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, yeah, this is like. Have you, have you seen that 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 tweet? Of, uh, describe yourself like like male authors write women. <laughs> he looked over at her, breasts pointing in both directions. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> Oh, dear. Yeah, I can imagine that it gets to be really awkward when I was just like reading about this girl in her bedroom, maybe like writing in her diary or something, and then Sky turns up and and then the, oh, he's she's very, starts... very impolite, isn't it? He should not. Yeah, absolutely. And then why yeah, is she he needs to be invited? He needs to be invited specifically because he's a vampire. But Support. wouldn't they have been invited before or is it every time they enter? Well it depends. Depends on which girl this is in volume. Well, this is a hundred. This isn't. Exactly. Yeah. This isn't accurate at all. Uh, Zero out then, of ten. Not turned oh, on. She seems to be really warm. She's taking off some clothes. They both. They both seem to be very warm. You'd have thought they're hey, just a vampire. He's very cold. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. But then. Oh my. <laughs> What happens next? Oh. He's like <laughs> blushing, but she's like, What's next? <laughs> oh, it's just kind of probably like. Uh, <laughs> just like flicks through the book a sec, and he's just like. Whew. Still going. <laughs> just going beetroot red, and he's just like. Oh, Jesus. Why'd you stop? Oh, What's the matter? Like barely containing her laughter. <laughs> <laughs> Owen tries and fails several times to just be like, well, um, uh, they're, they're just, just getting to know each other. It's very boring stuff. There's barely any the dialogue. Word, not describe it. Stop being vague. Uh, um, you know what? Um, Tilly would definitely be interested in this. Okay, uh, Tilly, can you help? <laughs> Fuck off. What? Why not? Uh, really? I, look, look. Clearly, it's a it's a really engaging story, but even Owen's struggling to uh, read the really complex literature that this is. It's good, isn't it, mate? Yeah, yeah, it is. Although I really want to know what happens next. Like, why? Why is? Why is the vampire taking off his clothes? <laughs> like, surely, surely he wants to warm up. Yeah, I think. You have to keep reading. And she 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 <laughs> grabs the book out of his hands and goes, "Why would he?" And then she reads it like, "Oh, now they're warming up." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I understand. Oh, I think they're having sex. Right. That's the point. Owen's just like. Uh, I've oh, got and they're just having sex. Place. And then he just starts leaving. <laughs> that inaccurate. Wait, Owen. Wait. He's like, I just, I've got a, I'm, I left the stove on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn it! Fucking <laughs> idiot. <laughs> what stove? The, the campfire. I left the campfire on. Um. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, mate. If you want to practice uh, your reading, I can I can fetch book one. It's a really good series. I mean, I mean, yeah. It's yeah, kind of I would. Like, yeah. You, you see what I mean, though. It's kind of trashy, but it's actually really addictive. I really want to. Still read don't one. know what you mean by trashy, but sure. Uh, uh, but I mean, really good. Like, yeah, it's really good. Trash is two pandas, like trash pandas, raccoons, right? So what that kind of trash? <laughs> it's great. Trash. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> just, let me get book one. <laughs> oh, uh, these <Yeah>. foreigners. <laughs> right. I think I think I'll then spend the evening reading out loud to, <laughs> to me. <laughs> Yay! Day. Now that I've done my prank, I can actually just read it out for her. <laughs> just, she's like she's like lying lying on her front like this. <laughs> oh, yeah. cool. Oh. Oh, he sounds he sounds really dreamy, doesn't he, Carmen? <laughs> yeah, really cool, you know, because he's cold, because he's a vamp. Yeah, yeah. Never I mean, I know that vampires are evil and all, but I feel like a weird feeling in my heart when I when you talk about him. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> is that wrong? Is that weird? Like, no. is that weird? 
Well, you, you've seen real vampires, and they all look super attractive. Yeah. I, I, I don't think... It's like, is that bad? Anything. Is that bad? Like, I totally wouldn't... Oh, you know, if I actually did come in contact with a vampire and he tried to have sex with me, I'd cut, I'd cut his throat, but, you know... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, you just pretend, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> A real vampire tried that. I think I think you should not. Should not what? They're, they're probably trying to kill you. I mean, you've met real vampires. They're attractive and all. No, I said that. I said I would she probably said kill it. Cut his throat. Oh, okay. I, I didn't hear like that. if a real one actually came to, like obviously I would just stake him and in in, stake him in the okay. face. But it's, like it's I could pretend. Cause... Like. It, yeah. Okay. Maybe if like a human like dressed up and pretended to be a vampire, that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna be yeah. in my bunk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this has got really weird. I'll be in bunk. <laughs> I'll be in my bunk. <laughs> <laughs> and by a bunk, it's the uh, the crow's nest, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. That's a bunk. <laughs> it's like why are the why are the sails wobbling? Well, the ship's not here yet. <laughs> are they disconnected? What? Yep. No, they are. No, no, they haven't. Oh, they have, have they? Hey. Oh, <laughs> I thought you disconnected. Because <laughs> you disappeared from Roll20. That was just Roll20, wasn't it? Oh, okay. You weren't saying anything either, so it's a fair assumption to make it. Yep. Okay, that's a trashy novel talk. Yep. Good night. Night. I guess, I guess I'm with someone else. Sounds good. Sleep. Yeah. All right. Um. Uh, your rest is is fairly comfortable. Um, and there are, there are no, you're not disturbed during the night. So, what are your plans for the following morning? Uh. I Get up reasonably early, I guess, and head towards. Yeah, brush teeth, go to the loo, make some breakfast, uh, and then yeah, head towards the um, keep, I guess. Whilst on the extremely alerted for undead and unmentionables. Yeah. Okay, all of you. Not just Aaron going out by himself. No, no, I'll, I'll definitely turn on, obviously. Of course we're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We're all going together. So you're heading in the direction of Zenzel Keep, and your what, what is your goal? Are you trying to get to the walls themselves and do some scouting of what's what's what, or just just go along the way and scout the journey there? I think start with scout the journey, but then as we get closer to the walls, I, I, I'm intrigued to know the size of this place. And whether or not there's like, like, are there undead roaming around it? Is it purely within the walls? That sort of stuff. And then we, so not yet, just not, hey, I'm going to go up to the gate and then just immediately go in. Yeah. That's fine. All right. So you begin your journey. Um, as you as you travel, the clouds on the horizon grow grow larger. Uh, the the sky threatens rain as dark clouds roil. Uh, rolling thunder creates an ongoing rumble, though lightning seems to be contained. Um, ozone and the scent of rain are promising a thunderstorm, which never seems to come. Uh, and uh, there's like there's like a large uh, forest that spreads out from the keep. Um, untouched by by civilization, uh, the, the forest has been able to thrive because people don't go go near the the keep anymore. And as you you head all along the what remains of a, a road that then leads into the forest, as you as you approach it, um, you see a flash of blue fire firing up into the sky near the edge of the tree line. Um, followed by a hail of arrows in your direction. So, can you roll initiative? Ah. 
Oh no. To clarify on the weather situation, are we entering a period like is is it just gradually getting worse and therefore the cloud is expanding, or is it that we're walking into where the cloud is? walking already? into it, yeah. Right. So it just seems to be like centered on this keep and we're walking into the shitty area. That's right. Do, a nice map. Do you have your NPC friend as well. Ooh, yeah, let me put an Atari. What a nice map! So pretty. Trying to okay, so we're really we heading one. south, are we? In the like in accordance with the map. Yeah, this is the edge of the tree line. Um, so you know, may may it always first to be up front. That's fine. You can arrange yourselves a bit. Yeah, you yeah. can be in front. Too. It doesn't really help her in the way of her fucking cover here. Can so I be the at the location of wherever all the enemies are? <laughs> <laughs> no. What are those rolls? God! Would you not be riding your horse? I yeah, you can either be mounted on your horse or it could be next what to you. It's fucking rolls! I'm fucking second last with a Next to you, did you say? Okay. You're a one sharp jacks. Calm yourself. Good role for me. Yeah, 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 yeah that's a high for Like fifteen is reasonably like decent, and look at these fucking rolls. Hello. Can you drag your horse from the sidebar? I think, or is that just me that can do that? I, I can do it now. Oh shit! These are the guys that look. They look like the crimson dawn. Yeah, so um, as you guys know, my my uh, laptop died, so I'm running this on my MacBook, um, and this map is huge, so you will have to bear with me because um, it's laggy as shit. It's fine. Give uh, Mickey the privilege or something. <laughs> I did offer that he DMs on my PC. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of it's a lot of effort you to do that. Get him to accidentally save his password to your <laughs> browser and then give you. Yeah, yeah. He plans to kill Tilly. I... I think he's planned that for a while and has <laughs> failed at every attempt. <laughs> Alright, what have we got? Okay. So these are cliffs and that's. foresty area? Yeah, it's forest down there. Is that supposed to be Natalie? What's the bottom right? That's weird. Oh, uh, that's a view of the... That's like a, a side view, you can see, of... Oh, I see. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, but it's not night time, it's just clouds. Okay. Gotcha. There, um, made sure they got their long rest benefits. Oh yeah, it's yeah. absolutely <laughs> classic rogue. Do I get a uh, birthday boon? <laughs> uh, when's your birthday? Monday. Huh? Monday. This Next Monday. No, the yeah. one. The one coming up. Seventh. Uh, it hasn't, it hasn't been yes. on yet. You will. Yes, yeah, sorry, yeah. No, yeah, it is on Monday. Not, it was on Monday. Woo! Thanks. I've had five this year already. I don't think it is. I don't think it's your birthday. It's... It is. I not. I mean, it's birthday, fourth of October. <laughs> I thought it was in December. No. Yeah. She doesn't. She never lets us forget. Remember, she definitely. Is. She's like, guys, it's my birthday. So you guys, guys, birthday soon. I remember. When? When is your birthday? Fourth of October. Fuck! <sighs> shut up, bro. It is. 
fucking shit is in this fight? Oh my god. What? Oh, a wife. Could be worse. Oh, love weapons. A uh, knigget. Excuse me. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> oh, did you know I'm married Why to a uh, can... knigget? <laughs> Niggas nice. faggot. No. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Yeah. So it's doing a really annoying thing, but it's fine. It's fine. I'll uh, I'll deal with it. Um. <sighs> dear. All right, Owen. Um. I don't think you're surprised. I don't know. Does anyone have a weapon of warning anymore? Nope. Not mm. I. Then you're all surprised. Yeah, but surely, what even? We even, we're on high alert. Even with people like who have decent perceptions, see it from fucking away. Um. Unless there was something. What's, that was what's everyone's passive crazy. perception? We're high up as well. I feel like we would have time for these things because they, they, they're not like jumping out from behind us. They're from several like from fucking miles away, aren't they? Well, they're in the trees, and then all we see is oh, an arrow, so it's not. No, reasonable. you're not. You're not surprised, you, because right. they sent up a flare. So obviously, you're not surprised. I forgot about that flare. Oh, that's a nice firework. Oh, fuck! <laughs> yeah, they they shot some blue flame into the sky and then started firing at you. Uh, mm, that's not good. Just take it. So, uh, what are you doing, Owen? Um, as the arrows begin to pelt you. Fuck. Um, from the trees, very far away. Uh, I am going to. Can I be? I really don't. I don't know what's going on, so I'm going to cast a level two. Bless, which I think gets uh, four. Level people. two. Oh, you have level two spells. Yeah. <laughs> you start with a class long enough for level two. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I can't believe you. Um, a fucking miracle. <laughs> if, if you had. <laughs> if you ever let forget that. Um, okay, so that's four people. Uh, who would I bless? Okay, so. I'm going to bless probably the other four, not myself. So Carmen, Ciel, uh, May, and Tilly. Well, you all are going. So three of you can fire at long range, and then there's Tilly, who <laughs> does multiple attacks. I, providing I don't get hit, which is unlikely at this point, hopefully. Then it doesn't matter, and I don't think an extra D4 is necessarily going to help that. So who is that again? To the... uh, everybody but Natari yeah. and. Owen. <laughs> it's like everyone gets blessed, yay! And he turns around, and looks at Natari like dead, deadpan. Everyone but Natari. <laughs> so the four. Yeah. So this one, this one, this one, this one. That probably doesn't help. But... Can you? You see? Yeah. It's fucking. Oh, that's such a lag piece of shit. Well, everyone can do their own one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't you worry, don't need to do that. that. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you guys. Put your bless on. Get your bless on. Yeah. Um, As, uh, yeah, so I suppose you uh, you do your, 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 your ninjutsu symbols with your hands, and then a wave of golden light explodes out um, of, of Owen. Uh, some of the arrows get get kind of picked up in this this wind and thrown aside. What else are you doing? Just because it's all happening relatively simultaneously, is anyone else running towards them? Yes. I okay, I guess Everyone. I will okay. run towards them at a light jog. <laughs> Um, 40 hey, yeah. and actually I have 45, hello, and that's still quite far away. 
I might just <laughs> yeah, take. They're very far away. Because <laughs> now I'm in the front. I will also <laughs> take the key action for dodge as a bonus right. action. Yeah. And then I am done. Absolutely. Great. Um, all right. CL, uh, Owen has just launched off. I assume you're, like, you're using your winged boots to just mm -hmm. jump off this and float down. What are you doing? So each of these steps is about 10 feet. It's fairly, fairly chunky. Yeah. It do is it properly a sharp step or can we run down? It's a it's a proper well, sharp. It's just the, like a. The, look at the side view. Yeah, but the side view says that it's not a sharp step. Uh, uh, fuck. Uh, yeah, ignore the side view. <laughs> fuck the side view. <laughs> like it doesn't it doesn't make sense. Like I'm looking at the map and it's clearly yeah, not it's completely rolling incline. It's like a cliff. <laughs> Um, yeah, so if you if you like want to grab onto the ledge and like let yourself down, that's difficult terrain. If you just want to jump down, that's that's fall damage. Yep. Okay, but the the way you get down the ledge is important. Mate, didn't you miss this step down anyway? It's too missy step it's down one of them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do you wanna? Uh, do you wanna uh, mark off your spell slot as well for Misty Step? All right. So you take two points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, it's only ten feet. Okay. Yeah. As you as you hop down and uh, your your bones shudder with the impact. <clears throat> you go the Yeah, she's acting independently now. Just going like, um, nay. <laughs> <laughs> completely ditched me. <laughs> How did you get so far? Oh, did you dash? Missed the step, run and dash. Whoa, CL's running in! Yeah. yeah. So, like, your, your mailed feet are pounding on the ground as you charge. <laughs> Without a horse into the trees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see ya. Oh, dear. I do occasionally All right. impulsively. How are we doing? Alright, yeah. archers. Cool. Um, so, yeah, you're at the front. They're gonna try to bring you down. Uh, Alright. Uh, does a. Does a twenty-one hit? God. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So your AC is now twenty-six, right? Yeah. All right. And the follow-up attack uh, also misses. So you throw up your golden shield. The arrow splinters off it. Um, so you're shielded and mark off a slot. Uh, Paladin warlock. Good choice. Um, alright, yeah, Tilly, the battle's been joined, people are running ahead of you, arrows are flying, what are you doing? Hi, going to run forward. Uh, so, I suppose I carefully get down here. Is that 20 feet to get down? Yep. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then I dodge. That's my turn. Oh, fuck. Wish 
these guys. One, one, yeah, okay. Well, one moment. I think it's it's messed up the initiative a little bit. Um, oh, it hasn't put them in the thing. Yes, not added some. Uh, okay, so let's just. Um. Ah, oh, fuck, the Diviner had 22. That's fine. All ready their actions anyway. And the Wyvern's actually got a 19 and a 17. Okay, so we should have had one of them go as well. That's fine. We'll, we'll do that, that Wyvern. Now. So is it Wyvern or Wyvern? <laughs> because I've always pronounced it Wyvern. I bet yeah. Rich has pronounced it Wyvern. I've always pronounced it Wyvern. <laughs> does. I was a Wyvern in my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, alright, Dro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dro, Dro, Dro. Yeah, go Dro your boat somewhere else. <laughs> Maybe go draw your boat to Port Nyanzaru. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, is that your turn then? That's my turn, yeah. Yeah, I'm dodging. Yeah. You are... Oh, you... Yeah, you okay, cool. So... Off in the distance you hear a, a, a mighty core. That's a wyvern. Is that the flare? So these guys are... Oh, I don't know how far they are off the ground yet. Probably about 60 feet. Oh, there it is. I was like, where the fuck is it? Uh, and you can see on this one, there are there is a, a lone figure riding it in a saddle um yes um Is he wearing like a metal mark? no uh so these guys are like okay. 60 feet off the ground um <sighs> yeah Ugh. Ugh. Why did we start this fight? All right. May. Oh, sorry. I have I have the earlier wyvern that I forgot to really take his move. Give me one one moment, as that will also swoop in. Um. Also, this one has two people atop it. Whoa! That's a special one. It's got like a special double saddle. Say so Drakaris. Um, and this one's sixty feet off the off the the floor, so it would be ten feet up and then another ten feet up, so it's only forty feet. Yeah. Really okay, now you can take it. Um think if you're saying that they're sheer cliff faces you're saying that on you yeah okay so if I were to climb down and shoot from round the corner of the cliff at it yeah would I be in cover etc yeah for the usual yeah. reasons Brilliant. I'm yeah, gonna, you yeah would. carefully climb down so that's 15 20, Hold on, just one 30. second. That's 30 feet. Let's get out there. Hold on, just one second. You don't have any If you have either. a climbing... Oh! Hmm? If I have a climbing or swimming speed. Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. I don't think you do, right? No, no, no. Yeah, I, was, yeah, I just yeah. remember seeing the word climbing and going, Hang on a minute, does that... No, it's just... <laughs> okay, I'll find down. And... She's got more movement. She's a scout. Yeah, extreme. 
Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. You got four if you don't. Even... <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, you crawl down the cliff and I'm disappear. Shooting. shooting, yeah, I'm shooting this one, the one that's the closest. Uh, the Wyvern or, or or either of the riders? Uh, the riders. Which one? Uh, uh, the... Mm, can I can I see what they look like? Yeah, the yeah. One one at the front is is wearing armor and has the reins gripped, and the one behind is wearing like robes, and uh, mm. seems to have his hands free, beginning to to Girl wave mage. them around. Girl mage first. Yeah, I'm He's gonna aim for the, the mage me. looking one. I just might yeah. Um, well, a 29 hits. <laughs> Does a 33. <laughs> uh, yeah. I There's not a lot he can do about that. that. Uh, is sneak attack, because you had advantage. So that's 27 points of damage. Okay, to um, Diviner. I'd like to stay in, in, say in cover, but, uh, I mean, I know this is just a map, but, you know, it's that, it's that little... Uh, do I... Oh no, I can't be bothered to work it out, so it's fine, I'll stay there. Alright. Um, yeah. So, uh, the, the wyvern swerves, uh, seemingly away from your your bolt um, but it wasn't intended for the wyvern and it takes the the, the one wearing robes the, the wizard looking one straight in the uh, straight in the chest and um, he staggers gasping um, but, but keeps in the saddle and uh, I guess you're done I am Alright. Uh, cool. That's probably not going to hit. Um, so that's a 16 at UCL, followed by a 15. Which I think both you just easily deflect with your shield. And then what's, what's Lumia? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. The uh, candlesticks. Uh, yes. Yeah, there's no real way for Lumiere to, like, carefully clamber down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you can only move around this little level. Yeah. yeah. If I want it to get away from these dudes. Okay. Yeah, so... That's fine. You, you can deliver those instructions to Lumiere. Um, and then two more arrows zip your way. Uh... That's a 23, which I think still misses. Uh, and a auto. That's a crit anyway, so it's, it yeah, it's an auto hit. Um, so that's 13 points of piercing damage as one does manage to punch straight through your, your golden barrier surrounding you. Um, yeah, Carmen, what are you doing? You're seeing this huge, like, dragon-like creature bearing down on you. Yeah, how bad does the, um, the mage look? Uh, it's really hard to tell from this distance. You're just looking up at, at like, the, the belly of the wyvern. Okay. Uh, since I can't tell, I'm going to quicken a fireball. A fireball? Yes. Okay. <laughs> there's, there's three creatures. Yeah. Food, another dude who's really bad at dodging. <laughs> creature. And yeah. Like, the thing is, I was gonna polymorph the wyvern, but 
but there's a mage on top. He's going to counter spell me. So I'm going to kill the mage first, and then I'm going to pull him. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm also going to empower it. Um, so let me just empower as one sorcery coin, and quick is uh, two, three. Um, two, two. Um, quick, quicken is two and empower is one, so that's three sorcery points in total. And then I'm going to cast a fireball. Alright. I'm going to re-roll the, the ones, the two, and the three. Okay, so we'll take four, seven damage off that. Let's put it at 21 and then roll 46. Better a than bit seven, better. so yeah. 31 plus five, so 36 damage for these guys to save. So we'll, um, I will also use one sorcery point to make myself resistant to fire. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, an additional sorcery point then, and so that's four total for that. Yeah, I'm on seven. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh. Uh, he does make a save. Okay, so the knight will make a save. Uh, taking 18. And the rest take the full 36, right? Yeah. Is the magey looking dude still alive? If yes, the fire bolt is meant for him. He's, he's still alive. He's not great, though. Um, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so you, you point, look up, you kind of, you know, you get your calculation face on and you, you <laughs> hurl a moat of flame. As the wyvern swoops in, the the bead explodes outwards, like in the mid-air. You see this perfect sphere of fire just blossom in the air and the wyvern streaks through it, um, shrieking with pain as uh, everyone on top of the wyvern as well is just like immolated. Uh, yeah, you, know, you want to follow up with a firebolt. He's got half cover from from the wyvern, but you can take. Well, okay, the half cover's not going to help him. Um, let's see if shield will. Seventeen. Nope. <laughs> All right. Uh, roll damage. Yeah. Plus five. Plus five. Twenty-four Is points for... of damage with Is a cantrip. Is huh? it not once per turn? Is it each? No. Time? No, it's one one roll per fire spell. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's per attack. Yeah, per yeah. attack first. So you, you, you add one, you add your charisma modifier to one roll of a spell that deals damage of your draconic ancestry. So in this case, it'll add, it doesn't matter which roll it's added to, right? Mm -hmm. Um. All right, so 24 points of damage. Yeah, you you fire the beam. Uh, it like it slashes through the the wing of the wyvern, but also hits this this wizard. Um, and this time, the force of the blast is enough to knock him clean out of the saddle. He hurtles through the air and lands with a sickening crunch. Cool. Um, Natari gets an attack as well. Uh, Natari automatically hits with his signature attack, because you hit. Who's yeah. he attacking? I guess he would have to... Does he have to hit the one I hit? No. Okay, then... I, I guess... The Wyvern? Okay. Do you want to roll for him? Oh, oh my god! Oh. How many things can you do one turn? Um, All of them. Yeah, just click click the signature attack on his sheet. They just goes. I haven't got my boots on anymore. Uh, yeah, just roll damage. The attack doesn't matter. You automatically hit. Seven points of fire damage to the wyvern, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so there's a follow up little little streak of flame from Natari, who's crouched next to you, uh, which manages to. Make the wyvern angry. Okay, uh, does he move on my turn too? Yeah, he acts on your initiative. Okay, I move away. So directly after your turn, he'll he'll do his move and stuff. I move away. 
Hide, Natari, hide! Okay, so <laughs> feet, right? uh, well, you have to use half oh, yeah. your movement to mount, or five feet of movement to mount. Yeah. Oh. I'll use half of my mo movement to mount, and then I get to use Lumia's 60, right? No. Lum Lumiere's acting independently, so on Lumiere's okay. turn, they'll move. Okay. Never mind then. Then I will not mount him at all. Instead, I'll just move up. Okay, that looked like more than 30, yeah. So you get 30 feet. And then and then you can move Natari wherever you want. He's your, he's your control. Um, yeah, he'll always be with me because he's gonna die if it's off. Uh, actually, I will move in front of him. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, the, um... The man at the at the fore of this wyvern uh, looks around at his companion who's just been knocked off uh, the wyvern, and he he lets go of the reins. Uh, seems seems to be okay, and pulls out like a heavy crossbow and aims it at you, Carmen. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Uh, just check. Them. Yeah, he's bigger than me. Um, I think at that angle, yeah, probably. So well, yeah, I think so. I think. You've got at least half cover, I can see. It's 40 feet up, yeah. The, the ledge probably is more of the cover than Lumiere. It's... You can have half cover, though. Um, so that's not useful. That's not useful. Okay. Uh, does an 18 hit. What does the cover give you? Adds plus 2 to your AC. Uh, that would be 18. Sorry? Yes, it would hit. Are you using shield? Um, sure. Alright, it misses then. Just mark off a spell slot. Uh, first level spell slot as you uh, deflect the bolt. Um, you can't do anything yet. Uh, Alright. Yeah, fortunately you didn't need it. But. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, 90 feet, excellent. Alright. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Alright, um, so ahead of you, CL, atop this wyvern, uh, you see this, this uh, armoured figure um, also begin casting a spell. Can you make a, uh, I think, wisdom saving throw? Plus plus. Fifteen, yeah, plus one D four. Nice. Alright, yeah, you make the save. Um and uh yeah, there's this this sort of these tendrils in your head that uh look like these oily tendrils that try to worm their way into your brain. Uh you you stand firm and shrug off their effects. Alright. Uh Owen then. Back back to you. Wow. My dodging <laughs> unneeded. Unnecessary. Um <laughs> The unsubtle I don't know whether <laughs> What am I going to be good at? Not a lot, really. Uh... What does CL seem to be heading toward? She, you don't have any. You're you're on on the floor, aren't you? You don't have any way of flying. Okay, fine. I will run forty-five feet. I will then use my... This guy's 60 feet up. So it would take me... 45 plus... A bonus action. So I'll probably end up having to use all of my movement, which includes a bonus action move, to get the 60 feet up. Um... 
Uh, All right, because you you were twenty feet up already. Because you ran off the cliff. Okay. Well, it was twenty feet to here, and then it would be another twenty-five up that I had. Okay, which would yes, take you me need to forty-five, and then I have fifteen left. Yeah, I guess I. I you got a bonus action. Yeah. All right, so mark off another key. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's much I can do. I'm just there. You're just there. I mean, you still have your action, right? I had to use my action to bonus oh, action and, and bonus action to get there. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. right, that explains it. Okay, so you're toe to toe now with this huge uh, wyvern, as it's you can see it's rearing back. Um, it's wicked sting poised, um, and its claws uh, out, fending you off. All right, CL, there's this battle going on in the sky in your periphery, but the arrows continue to come. What are you doing? Yes, 120 or something on Eldritch Blast, so yeah, it's in range. Yep. Since you're now level 11, do you not get 3? Yep. It's, it's cantrips key off your character level. Your character level is 11, yeah, so... Once on each of your turns, yeah. So one of them, one of them will have its movement reduced. So you get to choose. Yes, yeah, once on each of your turns. So you get to pick. The, the top one, the one riding the wagon. The actual wyvern, it also has a character on top, which is a knight or like that's a shielded guy. Away. Yeah, that one's that one's too far because that's up in the air as well. <sighs> Sorry, when I, when you were thought about you were talking about two, I thought you meant the, the wyvern and its rider. <sighs> yep, that makes sense. How are you distributing your beams? So you got three. Okay, perfect. That's right, there's only one on this one. So roll three times, we'll take the top one for the wyvern and the other two for the for the rider. Oof. Plus one D four. Um yeah, so the top one you don't need to roll plus one D four. The bottom two you probably want to roll just roll two D four. <laughs> yeah. Slash R. Okay, so if, okay, so uh, the the first one and the the third one hit. Um, uh, the second one misses, and then the wyvern speed is reduced by ten feet. So go ahead and roll roll damage for for two of those. Okay. So ten to the wyvern, or to its. All right, yeah. So brilliant incandescent beams of multi—I uh, think it's black light, I suppose—explode um, out from from the figure far below you, Owen, uh, slashing through the air, and you see the the figure atop is is hit is hit by one on his on his shield. Um, no, he doesn't have a shield. Uh, hit by one on his on his armor, and the wyvern as well uh, shrieks. Um, and I guess that's your turn. CL. Um, so this wife is going to come over here. Uh, 
Uh, and... Drop, drop a rock on me. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, can you make a deck save for me? As uh, as it drops a, a rock on you. Where did I get a rock from? <clears throat> uh, plus 1d4. It, it just had a rock. They came in with rocks. Oh, you're right. 13. Um, 3 and a 1 and a minimum. That's that's rough. Yeah. Uh, dear. Right. So you weren't damage. expecting it to... to Sweep in so fast, um, and you take nine points of bludgeoning damage. Halved. Not halved. She did a save. save. Yeah, but that's only for saves that allow you to to make a save for half damage. This doesn't. Oh. Uh. It's 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 you make a save for zero for zero damage. So evasion what? doesn't apply. Take the oh, full shit. nine points of bludgeoning damage. I as the I said before that I'd done the benefits of a long rest, but I don't appear to have done my ex my, my HP. Oh, well, yeah, you should have your max HP, yeah. Yeah, so I'm... I'm yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, your HP's back, yeah. Um, yeah, so this Wyvern swoops over uh, much faster than you anticipated as it, like, tears, tears through this curtain of flame that uh, Carmen created, and as it uh, streaks out, um, this this boulder hurtles down, cracks you in the skull, uh, and it is done. So, um, all right. So you're no longer shielded. Yeah. Can you just make you aware that it's, it's Friday huh? night? It's not a Friday night, so you need to go to bed soon. What time? <laughs> soon. <laughs> Um Alright, so these shots are gonna come at you, Owen. Uh Alright, does a twenty nine hit? <laughs> yes, it does. Are you uh are you gonna use your arrow catching thing? Yeah. Well, that reduces damage, doesn't it? Yes. As a reaction. Are you going to try to catch the arrow? Deflect the missile. first archer to attack me of three. No, yeah. I'm not going to. Alright. You take five points of piercing damage. The second arrow, 17. Is that hit? Uh, 17 doesn't does not okay and you make you maintain concentration all right next archer uh are they all firing at me yeah okay. seems like i've pissed them off it was kind of yeah well they they fired at cl and it was useless so now they're firing at you 16. okay uh that does not hit. i assume that misses so i currently right. got armor class of 18 that hits whether or not it's a one day turn, I guess. Uh, I uh, it wouldn't even matter. A shield wouldn't help. All right. Are you deflecting missiles? No. All right. Five points of piercing damage, Tilly. Um, I'm going to shoot the wyvern above me. I think. All right. You. You got to drop your swords i never got them out okay that's that's fair yeah <laughs> <laughs> um and i specifically made that decision as well yeah yeah that's, that's, that's fine yeah go ahead uh okay i'm just thinking if i want to do anything fancy but no i don't think i do okay Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, okay. okay. Well, the last one I'll make a menacing attack. <laughs> okay, well, they all hit. Okay, so 
one, two, twenty-one. And then just do the superiority die. Thirty-six. And then another fifteen. Oh, and then um, another six. Let me just make sure. Oh yeah, it's weapon attack. It doesn't have to be melee. Okay, and it needs to make a wisdom save yeah. to avoid being frightened of you. You see, seventeen. It fails, uh, which is very lucky for me. It can't get any closer to you now. She's a can't fly down. Um, yeah, so yeah, it, it begins sweeping down towards you, mate, and then instantly veers up as this barrage of arrows hits it in the flank. May kind of like goes <laughs> at Tilly, like, well done for being such a scary face. It's the, uh, the meme mold she goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> like, it's like no matter what, no matter what, an anime is. No matter what facial expression they do, they have to make a, some kind of <laughs> some noise of some kind. Like, why? Hmm. Anything else to do? Uh, I think I'm gonna stay here, actually. Just be like a like a weird sort of spotlight hmm. for a, I don't know, scared of light. Alright, so um, some claws are coming at you, Owen. Oh god. Uh, and you, yeah, it's, it's, it's off balance with the rider and it totally misses. And then the stinger whips around. Um, and it's going to add plus 10 to that with the, the, the war priest is going to use its guided strike to make that a 23. That, it's going to hit. Oh damn, if I had my... <laughs> Okay, so you take 13 piercing plus 20 poison. Oh no, 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 make a constitution save for the poison. Okay, you save, so you only take half of that, you take 10 poison damage, so 23 damage total, and you need to make another constitution save. Uh, DC 11 for concentration. You can use I'm... the strike on the wife. Huh? Going... It can use it on any anyone, I think. If you yeah. do it to that one, sure, but... Well, it says, Guided Strike. Once per rest, the priest guards a plus 10 bonus to an attack roll made by itself or another creature within 30 feet of it. As a reaction. Oh, is that... Okay. Is that a... Uh, yeah. Is that an um, NPC slap or something? Yeah, I think even normal War Priests can do that. Only on themselves. No. When you make an attack roll, you can use your channel divinity to gain plus 10 bonus onto the roll. You make this choice after you see the roll roll before. Yeah, can, they, can, they only, can they only do it at high levels? Because, I mean, that's what they do. Critical roll. They do, yeah. Oh, War God's Blessing. So it's not Guide the Strike, it's War God's Blessing. It's like for when the creature is in War God's points. Blessing. Yeah, okay, it's called Guided Strike in this NPC stat block. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So I guess they combine them. They just combine them into one. Uh, Alright, so you use your favoured soul to... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is... Yeah, fair, fair enough. Um, you, you, continue, you maintain your bless. Um, and I think the Wyvern will stay there. Uh, yeah, stop let's go st Oh, that would be great. Let's go stay there. All right. May, what are you doing? There's a huge wyvern yeah. above you. Uh, how far above exactly? Feet 40. Wide? Uh, no. Uh, 60. No. No, no, no. 50 feet. <laughs> Sorry. 50 feet above you, exactly. I mean, if you see so just getting into a situation where I want to get into cover, and what? there's much cover if he's super high up. There's, there's, n I don't think there's any way you can hide from this. Uh, you could go if you got around here, maybe. Yeah, like if you press against the wall. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if you got around that side and press up against the wall, I might not see you. 
Okay, I will do that. I'm out of its reach, I assume, right? Yeah, you're, you're way out of its reach. Okay, um... How much movement was that? 5, 10? It's less than 40. 35, 40. Yeah, it's just 40 to get there. Oh, okay. Oh, sure, whatever. Okay, up against the... And then, like, sort of veer outwards, aiming upwards. Yeah. Uh, is this the... This is the one where the... Yeah, it is. It's the one where dude went splat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, shooting the knight, are people fine with that? Is that what everyone else is aiming for, right? I've had attacked the wyvern, I've attacked the wyvern. You're attacking so. the wyvern. Just because it's easy to hit, I think. Yeah, because it's not armed, nice and yeah. if the wyvern dies, then the guy falls and takes four. Okay, no, reasonable. Right, doing that then. I just would, I'll just do whatever yeah, he's not he was doing. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I've, I've rolled the wrong light crossbow, but it should be. I think that's still fine. It's only 17 hits here. Don't know if it's gonna be janky damage, is what I mean. Yeah, it is. Fuck. Why are they do janky damage? Oh, oh is it not the what? The macro's broken. Oh, yeah, the macro is broken. Yeah, my bad. It's okay. I'm uh. I'll just re-roll and then roll damage if, as long as yeah. there's 17 hits. Yeah. yeah, 17 hits. Yeah, go ahead. Nest as well. I know. I remember. Oh, for fuck's sake, right. <laughs> uh, 11. So... Oh, Plus that's fucking terrible rolls. 23 points of damage, alright. Ridiculous. So, a uh, gout of Ica spouts from the from the wyvern as, as you manage to slam a bolt into its, its uh, soft underbelly. Uh, yeah, we can't do anything else, so here I stay. Here I stay. All right, Owen. Oh, I keep forgetting. Actually, I keep forgetting that I'm supposed to roll another dice roll. Why do I always forget? <laughs> I'm going to cast shield. <laughs> okay, <laughs> mark off a spell slot, and both of those just careen into your new, new golden barrier. What's Lumiere? Lumiere doing? Just chilling. Wait, oh. Not that great. Can I super quickly before it becomes too late? Because I yeah. you know I rolled twice because I had advantage. Elven accuracy. I'm just looking at the rolls of your first one. Why uh. is one of one of the fours greyed out? Does that already roll three times? The first one. Oh, have you added it? Maybe in the macro. Okay, yeah, in so... the macro I added it. I don't know if I added it. I didn't add it with the normal like crossbow roll. Oh. So that is a correct. That's that's okay, a correct. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah. God damn it! But fine. Sorry. But the <laughs> original. But the original one I would have. I think I used my uh, thing, but uh, fine. yeah. Don't worry, it's fine. Just it's too late now. But I thought, oh, it's not too late at this stage. <laughs> it's pointed yeah. Out. Well noticed. Yeah, I gotta fix that. Gotta sort it out. I can't do it on this janky ass laptop. Barely do anything around twenty. Um Alright. So yeah, okay, yeah, you can move Lumiere. It's it's gonna be difficult to give them cover, um, but you can try. Can we finish this round and then Uh alright. Did you hear that? Can yeah, I heard this it. Round? Right. Yeah, can you finish your mooning? All right, nineteen misses because of my shield. Yeah, yeah, and a fifteen also misses. <laughs> uh, all right, calm. What are you doing? So how high up is this wyvern then? Fifteen. Uh, feet. There, four four level. Level. You guys. Level with me, but like it's above. So how far would it fall if I turned it? Um. Off? So he'd fall forty. Try to grab onto the ledge, and if he fails, that he'll fall fifty. Um. Yeah, sure. Why not? I'll, I'll give it. A <sighs> in the cast. Polymorph on the one. Uh, okay. I mean, yeah. All right. You've, you've seen it take loads of damage already. 
but oh, like right. loads oh, of damage. Is it like half dead? Well, well I mean, you saw Tilly shoot it loads and then they shot it. And, it was in your and, it, and you hit it with a fireball. I mean, the full I don't amount know. of damage of your fireball as well. Yeah, like you're going to well, be using a level four spell on this. So it's a bit, just yeah. It. Well, I was hoping to kill it and then give the guy loads of damage too. But I mean, you can just kill it and then he'll take the fireball it again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'd be a low level spell. Um, okay. How? Like how? How? Yeah. I suppose how bad? level four to do what? Five d six for the full damage. It's great. I think Fireball's fine. Um. <laughs> sure. Why not then? Is there enough room? That you, just... you don't need to do Fireball. It's just an option. Oh. Okay, it's not going to get Tilly. So it's up in the air. Yeah, it's like 50 feet in the air. It oh, okay. will not hit anybody else apart from it. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Is it empowered? Nope. It's not empowered. All right, that's fine. Twenty-six. Thirty-one. Thirty. Yeah, yeah. Off Wyvern. Oh, let's cool. say the knight doesn't, and the knight takes the full thirty-one points of damage. So does that count as a hit that my dude gets a shot? Or... Yep. My dude, go! Oh shit, is that the Wyvern? Uh, like... uh well actually no, the Wyvern, uh, 20, 50, yeah, okay. Oh, so he awesome. does 7, so the total damage to the Wyvern is... What, f if you do 50, 7? 22. Hmm? But you said if he hits only because Carmen hits, he doesn't necessarily need to roll. Uh, yeah, yeah, so he only does 1 damage. Yeah. So, oh. <laughs> the Wyvern take takes 16 points of damage. He doesn't need to roll, but has the option to? No, he doesn't have the option to. Only if Carmen doesn't damage anyone or hit God, on that turn, God, then Carmen. Atari rolls. Six whole damage we could have gotten. <laughs> 1d10 minimum. He's uh... level 3, okay? Okay. Cut him some slack. <laughs> He's right. over his head. Carmen, does a 20 hit you? Uh, yes it does, but was my turn over because I was moved? No, your turn's not over. What are you doing? Oh, well, I get hit, I guess. Wait, let me just check. Um, I guess I'll shield it. Well, what, what else are you doing on your turn? Move away. Um, okay, where are you moving? Lumia is just really like, get on me, get on me, get on me. Um, Ride me. Yeah. Ride me, filthy whore. Oh no, I'm just imagining Kira, it to make really posh. Into that little, uh, into that little yeah, yeah, sure. So that he's even more hidden than me and I'm uh, yeah. lower. Quite close to Lumia, so he's probably a lot more cover. Yep. That's that's good. Okay. Are you shielding against this attack? Um. Do, do I get any cover? You, from you do have cover from Lumia, yeah. Which puts me to what? 18, right? Yes. Uh, then I will. You shield. All right. Mark off another spell. Okay. Um. All right. Uh, within range. Okay. All right. Um, so the the figure atop the wyvern um, holds his his maul, his hammer high, and it begins glowing with a with a bright um, bluish light. Um, and then it thrusts it forward towards you, Owen, um, and you see like an arc of energy erupt from from the hammer and strike you in the chest. Can you make a charisma save? Ah, my best. <laughs> a 
Okay. Uh, are you using anything? That's a, that's a fail. I have already used my favorite of the gods to maintain my blast. So, okay. I don't think I have anything. So, um, the rest of you watch as the blue light seems to consume Owen, and he disappears, winking out of existence. Oh God! <laughs> he just banished me. <laughs> yeah, banished you. Nice. He said, "Be gone, thought." Oh shit, where the fuck have I gone? You uh, oh. banished to a harmless demiplane, so you're incapacitated. <laughs> I don't know if that ends bless. I think it might if you're incapacitated, right? Yeah, if you lose probably. concentration. Do we just think he died? Well, uh, we not we again! We saw what, what happens, don't we? So, this is like the mirror! We didn't see him die. We saw him die. You saw him get hit by this blue light, and then yeah, it, it like consumed him, and he kind of winked out of existence. <gasps> He's disintegrated. Yes, you you lose. Yeah, if you're incapacitated, you lose concentration. So the bless goes. God. You feel you feel Owen's touch disappear from you. Um, concentrated. And you don't really know what happened to him. None of you. Well, no, none of you. That's smart enough, because <laughs> Carmen doesn't have proficiency in Arcana, so she has no, yeah. no idea what's going on. Um, I don't think and not that I bombshell. Think too, yeah, it's too high level for for CL. So, yeah, that's where we'll uh, we'll we'll leave it for tonight and pick up next time. Yeah, all right. So, so yeah, um, I mean, you'll uh, be fine. Going. Don't worry. Well, now we're I feel ready. like. Which enemy definitely could cannot, <laughs> absolutely cannot get away? Nah, not deleted. I'm on the GM layer, I assume. But... Yeah, you're on the GM layer. <laughs>